Wait, hold on. Still recovering from that burp. Okay. Hey, everybody, I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to our 2013 wrap up from CES. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey guys, we have gotten back to uh, Dallas. From that was my CES. blue steel. Yeah, that, I don't know why you're doing blue steel with our CES wrap up, but okay. So we're mostly recovered. I'm still feeling a little scratchy and my tired. My feet hurt. We walked about <laughs> se seven or eight miles each day on average, according to uh, GK Dave's pedometer y nice. thing. So, uh, Which we're going to have uh, reviews on a little bit later. And but... you know, sometimes you say, oh, my feet hurt. Like, your feet are just hurting a little. No, I mean legitimately, my feet are like hurt, <laughs> like injured hurt. But we do Aww. it for you guys because we yes, love you. It's all for you. Well, all it's right, actually so for the gadgets. <laughs> we do get to see a lot of gadgets. <laughs> and I, you guys have been watching all the coverage. We still have a little bit more to come. But uh, in the meantime, we thought we'd wrap it up and show you our favorites from CES 2013. We have our cheat sheets. I have a cheat sheet. All right, first of all. Well, first of all, I thought maybe we'd chat about some of the interesting marketing techniques being yes. employed at the CES. Indeed. Uh Hyper Juice. The, the Hyper Shop. The, hyper Shop. The Hyper Shop name. guys uh, uh, have... D Dave, Cur <laughs> Dave, Dave Curley is throwing me off yeah. because he's getting naked here in the studio, <laughs> which is what well, they did. Why are you trying to make your job harder, Dave Curley? <laughs> Somebody which is, paint me. <laughs> which is what they did at the Hyper Shop booth. Um, our friend Daniel, actually, that's his company. Uh, yeah. they, they do hypershop.com. They make hyperjuice batteries. They make all kinds of stuff. They did the Kickstarter project we yep. funded. Um, the iCloud, but the, now the iUSB 2. That's right. So they, so they actually had painted booth babes, and it caused quite a stir <laughs> because I guess a couple of different People got all upset about it. Now it we'll comment on that more later. Yeah, but. We're, you, you can check out a blog post at geeky.tv slash boothbabes with my thoughts on all of that. Yeah. Anyway, they weren't the only ones. Let's see. Your buds. You yes, were... they had uh, guys flipping. They flipped for <laughs> Callie. <laughs> yeah, I was on. I was uh, kneeling on the floor. They told me to like kneel down, and then we were doing our own intro, and all of a sudden, this guy's flipping over me, and and they were demonstrating how their yeah. earbuds. We'll I thought that was a pretty good, uh, That's a good, good use of marketing. That's a good one. We saw a lot of other things. We saw the standard stuff. People walking around dressed as big old, sure. you know, like characters and whatnot. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not those, sure if that actually works. But. Those two really stood out, which tells yeah. me those two worked. So, uh, um, so also, let's move on to the unusual products that people are always asking us about. Yeah. Uh, the first one, Freedom Pop. That was interesting. You did that. Free Wi-Fi. It's a company that's giving you free Wi-Fi. Basically, you buy a little Wi-Fi hotspot um, and you crank it up. You get half a gig per month wherever and you are. And if you need more, you can pay for it. And if it. you want the more, you pay that, for it. That I found most interesting out of that one was the little case that you snap onto an iPod that makes it an, a cellular device. That's true because that's that, actually pretty cool. Now that one's not really a hot spot. That's just like no. It said, he said it was 4G. It has, oh, did it also have hotspot yeah. built into it? Mm -hmm. Well, you can get a little USB key and just get 4G coverage as well. Okay. But anyway, uh, I thought that was great. I'm definitely going to get one. My dad could use one. <laughs> The Happy Fork. Everyone was talking about this. Everyone was going on about it. It's a little gimmicky. It's a device that um, teaches you to eat uh, slower. More slowly, right? So that you are healthier. Um, it has a lot of issues to overcome, I think, before really Like people becoming... actually purchasing it? <laughs> <laughs> paying, no. money, paying money for a fork that slows no, them you down? No, I think, I think the, the idea behind it is very good and interesting. I think uh -huh. it's a first step to something that we'll see later on down the, the, down the road. Okay, this isn't on my list, but it just made me think of it. Okay. Uh, other things that are strange and first step like the iPotty. Oh yeah, the iPotty. It's a little. <laughs> it got quite the stir on YouTube. It did. <laughs> it was. I'm looking for a pun. Like it got yeah. a lot of <laughs> so juice. The, I don't the know. The iPotty little training potty for kids that you put your iPad in. And the one thing I have to say about that I didn't make extremely clear in the video was that the cover for the i for the iPad is going to be more. Covering. 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 It's it going to be more covery. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Also, the Hex Bright flashlight. We met a new friend. We were walking through the through, and he actually 
opened up a briefcase. <laughs> He's like a door to door salesman. Yeah, I like, wish he had a, he should have had a big uh, trench coat yeah. and gone like this <laughs> with it. But anyway, he had these flashlights and they're programmable. They're 500 lumens. Open they were really cool. We posted the video and some of you guys were like, it costs $99. Who the heck would pay for now, 100 bucks for a flashlight? Who, who uses a lot of flashlights, who buys a lot of flashlights, 100 bucks, not, not that bad, I've paid right? a, I've paid a lot more than that for flashlights in the past. This thing is as bright as like a headlight on a car <laughs> and as a USB port. What more could you want? All right, speaking of open source and Arduino-like devices, uh -huh. let's talk about robots. Yeah, you love robots. The Lego Mindstorms kit that's going to be coming out later this year. I adored and can't wait to get my hands on. Uh, the Paro Robotic Seal. Yeah. That Love was cute. that thing. That is really, really cool. It I'm combines gonna, the medical field and robotics. I got to make an admission to you guys because I was standing there <laughs> with her and she was petting this baby <sighs> seal and all I could think about was clubbing it. That's it. Sorry. That's all I could think about. I'm sorry. Look at that. <laughs> Speaking of... Dave is cracking up over there. It's oh, not funny. Boy. Anyway. The Wee Me massage, Massaging Robot now that one was, I was actually jealous. one of my favorites. Um, just fun little devices from CES. It's a massaging robot. It learns, it, it basically uses sensors to determine where your body begins and ends so it won't drive off. And it's all autonomous pretty much. And, and then it, my favorite thing about it, if you lift uh, your shoulders up like you're about to get up, it'll crawl up to the top so you can pick so it right pick up. It up it's so it cute. It's basically basically, you know, your own personal massager when you don't have anybody around. And they're cheap, and you can get them on Amazon, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to order one for sure, because they look pretty cool. Even <laughs> though right. I didn't get to try it. Oh, well, I was doing all the relaxing. <laughs> you know what you could do is you could, like, maybe... Uh, we could get one, and then we could make a bunch of videos about it, and then we could put those videos on our own domain. Domain.com. <laughs> maybe best of CES 2013. That's available. I was thinking about massagingrobots.com. Oh, yeah, maybe that's a bit, I don't know, that may be taken. But whatever it is that you find interesting and you want to blog about or put up a site about, pictures, video, anything, you can get yours at domain.com. And by using the code GeekBeat, then you can get 20% off. You would want to do that. And of course, you'd want a .com. And you want a .com. .com. You do. All so. right, moving on. Home automation. Home automation. You know, we... As geeks, we have all been interested in more automation f for years, for, for decades. And it okay? seems like one field that just never really gets there for well, us. Well, you know, people are always putting stuff out, like X10. Right. How long has that been around? <laughs> but most of the X10 products are either hard to implement or they're really cheapy and cheesy, and you just don't want them, yeah. okay? We went through the show. I'm not even going to bother listing all of the home automation stuff. Suffice it to say, there were things everywhere but I only covered one bit of home automation for Lowe's. the show. Lowe's. Why? There's a reason for that. Because I saw a lot of great ideas. You see how I'm trying to move him along here? The, the challenge <laughs> is they, each one of them, in order to control it, you use an app. Well, that's great. Except when you have 20 of these things and you have to launch a different app for every one of them. Yeah. That does not work for me. No, so I don't I'm, want a different app for everything. I'm not going to implement it. Right. But Lowe's took a completely different approach. They built the app and then they went to their vendors because they have the muscle to do this and they said, hey, if you want to be part of our Lowe's app, you need your products to communicate with it and then we'll let you put them on our store shelves. Brilliant. That's pretty cool. I love it. I can't wait to see that implemented. You're actually going to be doing some testing in your own home of that, right? We are. We're going to get a bunch of their stuff and we'll give you guys all kinds of coverage. I'll show you how to actually implement it assuming it all works well. <laughs> if it doesn't, you'll never hear about this again. But if it does, I'll show you how to do it yourself. And I'm really, Hopefully. very rarely am I this hopeful, but I'm really hopeful that this stuff works out well. Cool. So we'll see. 4K, huge trend at CES. Uh, Panasonic actually had, now just so you guys know, I was doing some um, some stuff over at the Panasonic booth on mm -hmm. their set doing live coverage. Can people still watch that coverage at yeah. panasonic.com forward slash CES? Uh, yes, I don't know how long that'll be up, but it's okay. also on their YouTube page. Um, but also, they one of the big hits there that I got to play with um, was the 4K 20 inch tablet. That is ridiculous. I know. So it's really for, you know, photographers out on the field, for architects, uh, videographers, maybe doing some editing as well. Uh, and it's not going to be something you and I carry just 
to carry. Oh, I will. Do email. But um, it is a great looking <laughs> device. Imagine? Great working device. Yeah. Uh, people are digging that thing. It was very cool. I'm going to carry one on my shoulder like a Like a boombox. <laughs> like boom nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, you know, one of the other things, we, we saw we saw 4K from every manufacturer. Oh, it just yeah. keeps getting better. Instead of in the past, there were gigantic ones. They're getting smaller and smaller. They've got the 20-inch one. But you can also get, you know, 50, 60, 80-inch. You can get all size of panels. The challenge, though, that people don't think about is... 4K television requires a huge, huge amount of information to display on the screen. Yeah. And even a Blu-ray player can't, can't do it. Right. It cannot show you 4K imagery. So our friends over at RED uh -huh. actually have developed a new technology. They call it Red Ray, I guess. That's it, like it one keeps step reminding beyond me Blu-ray. Red Room. Red Room. Red Room. Red Room. <laughs> it is Red Ray. Right, Red Ray. And it's a player. And so what it is, a player, you can get them already you can already get them for 1500 yep. bucks, and what it does is it pulls down a 4K stream at the about content. um it's a 2.5 megabits stream, and it will display 4K. So it's kind of like a compressed version of 4K, but it will give you 4K display and fill up those screens. And it's the only source yeah. anywhere that you can get with that content, and with that frame the, rate. That's the big issue with 4K TV right now is everybody's excited by it, but you, nobody has any content for it. So yep. this is that solution. Yep. Biggest surprise at CES. This is, you did, and I was so jealous. I only got to quickly walk through. But. This is the easiest question to answer. The, the biggest surprise was the guys who took over Microsoft's booth. You know, Hisense. Microsoft took out, uh, you know, took off. They, yeah. they got out of CES. And yes, Hisense, this now, company from China that almost no one's ever heard of. I said in the video, no one's ever I've heard, heard of them. them. Some people were Some like, people I've like, heard of them oh, yeah, I've heard. in my, my living room. But you guys are special, very but. Very few people have heard the name. That's right. Um, and they are a huge company. Now, a lot of people know them from their their uh, lower market lower end stuff. stuff and But they can do some beautiful high-end stuff as well. And if you haven't seen that video, you got to go check it out yeah. because they were displaying trends transparent 3D technology um, on transparent 3D televisions, okay? They were doing um, massive uh, Android-based Ultra HD televisions and all kinds of stuff. So go check it out. All right, well, those were our favorites from CES. What were your favorites? We want you to tell us in the comments at youtube.com slash geekbeattv. Or hit us up on Twitter or on uh, Google+. Google Plus. Plus. You can Absolutely. do that either way as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging in there. I hope that we did what we always aim to do is bring you along to experience it just as much as we do. All right. Take care, guys. We'll Bye. see you next time. <laughs> hey, both of y'all do it at the same time. Ready? All right, ready? One, two, three. Whose <laughs> <laughs> blue steel is better, though? My blue steel Mine. is better. My blue steel is better. Okay.